How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? Please subscribe to my channel. I want to share the story with you. Amy Stephens. Now, this story went back and um, basically at July the 28th, 2018. And the anti-LGBT group asked Supreme Court to review trans bias case about Amy Stephens. Now, the Pierce Court found that the funeral home company violated the, the law by firing a trans employee, but now the Supreme Court may weigh in. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court has the opportunity to rule on whether existing civil rights laws banning sex discrimination covers discrimination based on gender identity. A Michigan funeral home operator represented by an anti-LGBT allowance defending freedom has asked the high court to review an appear decision and firing of a transgender employee violate the title seven of civil rights back of 1964 title five, title five bans sex discrimination the adf filed its petition with the supreme court last week and the justice has not said if they could take the case now R.G. and G.R. Harris Funeral Home, which operates several funeral homes in Michigan, fired funeral director Amy Stephens in 2013 after she announced she was transitioning and would begin presenting as a woman. Her boss, Thomas Ross, told the concept of gender transition went against his religious belief and a person's sex is unaccountable to God's gift. He testified at one point in the case that he says that he that she violated the company's dress code by wearing women's clothing. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission sued on Stephan's behalf and the American Civil Liberty Union later interviewed the case. A U.S. District Court dismissed her suit saying the EEOC had proven sex discrimination about the Federal Religious Freedom Restoration Act gave the funeral home company an exceptional from Title V, an exemption from Title V. On appeal on March, a third judge panel in U.S. Court in appeal of the Sixth Circuit ruled that not only it discriminates against trans people with sex discrimination, but the federal RF RA does not provide an exemption exception in this case. <clears throat> it sent the case back to district court for further proceedings consistent of its op um, opinion. Judge Karen Nessa Moore wrote, but now the ADF wants the Supreme Court to review it instead redefining sex to means gender identity is no trivial matter now the adf writes in the, fo the following doing so shifts in which means to be male or be female from biological reality based on anatomy and physically as far as subject prescription evidence of what people profess they feel clarification gender Clarification, gender identity, as sex also threatens freedoms of conscience of the petition continues. The petition shows that obviously towards transgender people and right on the daily contributors, Rebecca um, Bozo said that, Pozo, <clears throat> but she feels that the funeral home and ADF are more than likely to succeed in this case comes from the Supreme Court with both Neil and Brett on it. Both are happy to be partisan, but both love to give lip service to organizations, any form that furthers their political conviction. Senate Majority Leader Mitch is eager to get um, Curve and D Donald Trump's latest Supreme Court nominee confirmed before the courts begin in session on October the 1st. Um, cannabis is nominated to replace Anthony Kennedy, who is re um, retired. It's Ken Valley, whatever it is. Anyway, the court is also may have 
may hear a case involving the whether the Title VII covered sexual orientation discrimination, a skydiving company that fired an instructor after he told a client he was gay and was asked the Supreme Court to review the Second Circuit decision firing, finding that anti-gay discrimination violates Title V, Title VII, although the Second Circuit did not rule in this merit of the case, that is, whether such discrimination had actually taken place, the skydiving company added to express claims it's fired instructor Dan Donald for misconduct, misconduct, something that the now deceased Zerter friend and family dispute. The high court justice who haven't said whether they're going to take the case. Now, this is being transcendent of law, U.S. Supreme Court. So, uh, see, this is the thing. This is what they wanted. When they kept saying transgender bathroom, maybe use little kids. This is what they wanted. They wanted discrimination. And they used the transgender, they used little kids to start discrimination. Now they got the Freedom Act, which means that you could discriminate against anybody now. So everybody's in a lot of trouble. If you are a person that's standing your truth, you'll be discriminated against. And the sad part about it, now it's not a race issue. Because this is a clearly white woman, and now she's been discriminated because she is. And this is the sad part that I don't like about the LGBT. We really need to stick together. Because a lot of us is in a lot of trouble. We need each other more than we ever need each other before. We're being put out on the street. We're, we're losing our jobs. Everything is happening. All because they use the title of kids. They use that thing of little kids inside the bathroom. And a person's coming there to rape them. And nobody wants kids to be hurt. And now they got these bills that's passed. And for people that don't really live in the real world. Just basically go by what somebody say. They're going to sign it as far, as far as putting the Religious Freedom Act. There, where it goes against my religious belief, I'm not gonna hire this person because they were not born that way, so I don't want them here. So now it's taking place. So now people are losing their jobs. Now people are getting fired for standing their truth. And it's really sad because life is not this serious, but they made it very serious. And it's really sad because this is when people commit suicide and stuff, and then they'll say, well, look, something's wrong with they commit suicide, but they will never take accountability for making that person do that. People who hurt people never sit back and say, I did that. I'm sorry. I was wrong. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to make the person even seem even worse. And that's what's sad about it. So, Amy Stephan, stay strong, my sister. And, you know, this is horrible. Anyway. I love if you see your feedback on this. I'll be watching at the comments. And subscribe to my channel. And let you know I love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain.